what's going down? Constantine Maroulis here. Special edition of the unofficial Idol Forum this week. I have the beautiful Elise Testone uh, from American Idol. Just got the little boot off the show, and uh, we're going to be catching up and talking about our mutual sixth place finish. It's the unofficial Idol Forum with Constantine Maroulis. <laughs> Special edition. Your voice oh, is, is really amazing. You have a, an amazing instrument. Did you uh, sort of train formally ever, or are you kind of just yeah. more of a raw performer? Well, I have a music degree. Mm -hmm. I really did my opera in different languages and theater and classical, and um, but then I like hit the bars hard. Right, and, I mean, hold on. Me too. <laughs> Singing. I hit like the bar gigs hard, and I did right. a lot of Janice and stuff like that, so you know, I kind of gained you, that grit. You developed that. But do you remember having <laughs> that from an early age, even when you were doing the classical stuff? Did you always um, kind of have a bit of edge to your voice? I did, but definitely not as much as I do now. I probably did some things that weren't always the best for my voice when right. I did those kinds of gigs. I've never done anything like that. No, yeah, I mean, I'm sure perfect, right? Totally, mm -hmm. totally perfect. Good choices all the time. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> that's funny, so we really do have a lot in common. Yes, we have the sixth place finish in common. We're both really good looking. We are, it's crazy. <laughs> I'm just I'm looking at her, I'm like, I, I have the same problem. <laughs> it's like the same. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, but uh, so that's really cool. And I would think that you're probably like the this season's rocker of the show. Yeah. So let me ask you this. So you had um, you did the Jimi Hendrix song, right? Mm -hmm. Which we all which all love. Everyone loves that song. Do you have like any regrets? Maybe picking a song that might have been uh, you know out of the box and a song that a lot of Middle America were were not necessarily um, you no, know. Middle America. Um, I have no regrets really because I love that song and I wanted to bring life to those lyrics in a way that maybe Jimi hadn't done because I mean he's mainly a guitar player. You right. Know? But a great he has a singer. great voice, mm -hmm. yeah, so don't get me wrong. But I just wanted to do, a, you know, my take on it. I mm -hmm. sang with conviction, I sang with passion, yeah. I got my guitar player on stage, I love my dress. Like, I really wouldn't take anything back. Right, that's the way to do it. That's mm -hmm. the way, that's the attitude to have because, yeah. uh, frankly, we can't take it all back. So. Yeah, and I, I just want to be proud of my choices and, th and think, like, did I do everything I wanted to do, you know, before the time was up? And I, I did. Totally. Do you mind if we go to Twitter for a couple of questions Let's that we found it. on the uh, on the old uh, Twitter <laughs> Twitter majigger? Mm -hmm. um, okay, from uh, What's Twitter. It's this new thing. <laughs> I invented it. Um, at Noah Naman, I want to know how she felt about the performances she got bad critiques on 80s night let's get it on I think once uh, the second week went by and it wasn't like the best week you know mm -hmm. it was my first like you know rock a hit in the yeah. road or it's hard to it's sing fun. in there right people don't realize how hard it is to it's sing different in it's not natural. <laughs> not natural it's like an airplane like, yeah. hanger or something yeah and I'm always like I mean I work best when I'm natural and, and I think once that week hit and I started thinking about things mm -hmm. I think that's what hurt me and I I'm not sure that the judges could always pinpoint what it was that was missing, and I think they say, they make comments, but I think, I think what was missing was really like that. I was I was thinking, and I was being holding myself back right. a little bit, Almost like that vibe yourself, was missing. Listen to yourself sing sometimes, rather than maybe be like totally committed to the the story. Let's say you're trying. To yeah, sing. exactly. Like I was like normally when I'd sing in clubs and stuff, I would always visualize the story. Right. I would make every word count, every syllable. Huge. And I just feel like you know I was I was losing sight of that a little bit, but I still feel like when I watch them back, I'm like, oh, that was good. Like I'm beating myself uh, up, but that was yeah. good. Gotcha. So let's go to um, Iris DeMero, at Iris DeMero. Elise, what kind of record would you like to make in the future? I think that I would definitely lean in the, the rock uh, genre. genre. Thank yeah. you. Uh, rock genre, and I would definitely incorporate jazz and soul and funk. Cool. Hey, let's go to at Cheryl33. Uh, do you think people listen to the judge's opinion, or do they just vote for their favorite? I think people ultimately vote for their favorite, but... Um, <laughs> the judges have think, a way of influencing things. I think things the maybe judges and sometimes even the pictures on the screen, mm -hmm. like the way the volume is set. Sure. I think all these things will sway the votes, and sometimes people don't even realize that they're being swayed. Right. But uh, after you know, all, it is a big TV show. I feel like if something is meant to be a certain way, it's going to be that way no totally. matter what happens. Yeah. Of the remaining people, you know. Who do you feel has a real shot to not only win the thing, but maybe go on to be a real uh, superstar one day? I can't answer that exactly, but right. I would say that artistically, um, Philip Phillips has a lot of great ideas. Sure. You know, I could point that out. Um, Skylar writes some really great songs, too. Um, and I've heard their original music, but the others, I haven't heard their original music. Right. But they have, um, Josh has a very original sound. 
So definitely, those nobody, are the things to consider. Nobody on earth sounds like that guy. I really don't want you to go, Elise, but I do thank you so much for coming. You're awesome. I wish you all the best, and I will definitely come see you rock out on stage one day. Maybe this summer on the on the big tour. If you don't come, I'm totally gonna call you and make fun of you. Cool. You won't be the only one. Uh, thank you again. Appreciate it. And don't forget to tweet all your questions uh, at Fuse TV or at Constantine M. And uh, check out the, the uh, Fuse uh, YouTube channel this week for the show Thursday night. Check it out. Thanks again. Thanks for coming. Yeah.